So instead of attack speed, we'd have some counter, some evasion, some defense. And damage to all. Yeah, that's fine. Damage to all is on the menu again. Yeah, see how, like, I think now... Yeah, I think so the second chapter is the second boss. Cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. But, uh, scary. Very scary. Oh, yeah. Let's take this. 28 defense and vampirism. Yep. Okay. Damage to all increased pretty significantly. Doubling it. More defense and magic damage. Sure. So we'll do one more loop. I'm going to hold this so that we evacuate. Um, but yeah, okay, I was kind of wondering how I was going to try and accomplish this because um, you can't leave the game ever. Uh, it doesn't save. And so you have, to, you have to at least complete a loop and you save back at base. Well, these are gross. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this. We'll do the cycle and then we'll leave. Damage to all, yep. Now with that knowledge, that changes things. So we really got to figure out a way to like become immediately stronger um, going into the second chapter. I might have just got unlucky there, but I feel like we could certainly improve. Look at this build. It's insane. This is just gnarly. 20 magic damage. Let's give her. See, this is where you miss that damage for damage to all. Being higher. These cards falling off, making those dings. That's life. I'm fine with it because hopefully we're going to be able to survive and get all these resources. Okay, so that gives us some rations. We need, uh, what, two more, I think? Get a full ration. Yep. And then we would need wood or rocks to, like, complete a big jump here. That might as well take. I'll do a road lantern somewhere over here. Things are getting a little bit unwieldy. Uh, this is going to be after, so it doesn't even matter. Place it here. Okay. Villages, do I get anything when I place it? No. Okay. Oh, battlefields. We're seeing as sometimes we get any additional resources there. Oh, a level four sword. Damn. Part of me wishes you you could do um, a faster speed for a situation like this, where you literally just want to, like, you know, just give her. Yeah, and what was looking like a pretty dicey start turned out pretty well. Well, I might as well get this. Give me one more rock or pretty much anything. Yeah, that'll do. 
finish off that treasury. Look at all these resources. Holy crap. Now I'm just going to let cards fall off so we get another one of these, like, books or whatever. This is, like, as min-maxi as I get. <laughs> it's not even very min-maxi. Also curious to see if anything like, really intense drops that I've never seen before. Because while there's a nice uh, variety of stuff, it's kind of cool to see what's possible. There we go. So notice here, uh, this bar, uh, th that gray bar, if it goes all the way down, it takes us a long time to recharge. But in terms of, like, collecting stuff, this is the way to go. Defense value, HP drops below 30, regen is double, doesn't help us. Every morning, the hero's sword is filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to deal two times damage to all. Oh, that's kind of cool. Every morning. Interesting. Uh, do we have any defense? 26? Yeah, sure. Holy, we just did 96 damage there. Holy smokes. Holy crap. So we get that damage stacking plus the defense. Yeah, that can that adds up, man. That's scary for them. I'm just going to place as many things as I can now. I don't care where. I'm just getting resources. our last tile right yep so let's go ahead and just place literally anything retreat yeah that's a massive amount of goods man that's huge that is pretty big another success you've returned and we still remember you unbelievable yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty again. And there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically, you remember that there are things you have forgotten. You should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy this place up. It's time for the next step. Oh, need to have in mind. Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen, from cooks to an alchemist, but they all need a place to work. We can't use the materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or stone you've just found, and it's gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. The materials that survived your trip always look suitable for building. These are just stones and splinters. How can you build something from them? Curious, hey? I noticed it with the fire you've made. Things you obtain somehow infect everything similar with stability. Okay. Only in small amounts, but it's still something. Oh, this might have been... Well, at this point, a couple episodes at the beginning, I was asking, maybe this is, um, like, there's some adjacency stuff. And I notice here there's some arrows. I think that's just an upgrade available. Um, only in small amounts, but it's still something even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision. Okay. So I don't know what this orange marker means, but this, I'm pretty sure, means we have enough to upgrade. Yeah. Camp's item slots adds this apple thing. I don't know what that means. 8% to the camp's healing power. Um, now what we need to be thinking. 2% to potions healing effect plus 2 potions as well. What we need to be thinking is like, what's going to make us do better in that second chapter? Where are we going to see the impact here? This one, these materials are all like really intense. 
Um, well, that'll have to be a minute. But if we look at just building other stuff, a smithy would be great. So we start with basic warrior gear. I'm going to take this. By the anvil of the seven seas, it's a small forge. Yo, ho, ho. You have no idea how I've missed the heat of a furnace and the smell of metal. We'll have some good tools now. You can be sure of it. You'll even be able to use something during those trips of yours. You're quite enthusiastic. Something tells me you're not a stranger to seamanship. <laughs> Shiver me hammers. <laughs> how did you know? Doesn't matter, though. You're right. Don't worry. I'll prove to you that these hands can hold a hammer as good as they can hold a helm in a storm and for a dozen days in a row if needed. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, I do notice here, like, when we click on Super Survivor's Tent, it can't be destroyed, but its inhabitants will gladly move to better housing if you build it. So, like, uh... Oh, Refuge, maybe. Yeah, maybe we unlock the new class, guys. I think so, right? I think we gotta... The smelter, we need a lot of this metal. Unlocks the Storm Temple card. Unlocks the Arsenal Golden card. If the Intel Center is built, plus 30 to base HP. The farm. All empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens. After an expedition, it gives you one ration for every completed loop. But not more than there are garden tiles around them. You can build something over the garden. Unlocks the ability to craft food. It will supply if the supply depot was built. And unlocks the wheat fields card. Oh, cool. So this is a way to get more resources, basically. You want to play this early on in your run. So you're doing a ton of loops. Um, let's do this one first. You know, what does that mean? Hold on. So I can raise... I can get rid of these things. Oh. Available supply slots for tools and max equipped items. I don't quite understand this. This might be unlocking the ability to... Fill more of those slots, maybe? But what's interesting here is if I want to place the refuge, I have to replace something else. Versus the farm I can place. Maybe the refuge has to be touching... Maybe it has to be next to the field kitchen or something. If I'm going to raise something... The herbalist, the herbalist hut was cheap. What about a cemetery? Passing through the cemetery on expeditions grants you a piece of information. You can resurrect the hero after an upgrade. Huh. Very weird. I can't remember which one was cheaper to build. Maybe the field kitchen was cheaper? Um, but I feel like if I... Yeah, I don't know. There's the gym. Herbal Sut. Campfire. Field kitchen. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe because it's a prerequisite. Right? See how the field kitchen's a prerequisite? That means this has to be attached to it. Now, that's interesting. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm gonna... Maybe I should raise the, the herbalist hut. I'll get some resources back. Hole in memory. So I think you get half of these back, but now I can place this here. There's an exile, even an egg even an exile hero. Don't be hard on the lost souls who have found their salvation in wine and gamble. Sit down instead and pick yourself a poison to drink. It's not why I'm here. It's so strange. This place and its surroundings, they're familiar to me. Now we're talking. So did you make your living off the road? A bit of robbery, maybe, or collecting bounties for someone's unlucky head? As if someone else knew and did all this, and now I have their knowledge and skills, and now I somehow literally have two aces up my sleeve. I think I stole someone's purse, too. <laughs> Wait, that's my coin purse. Don't believe me. Oh, well. Feel free to come by if you want to discuss your new trade. I didn't become this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know. Cool. 
unlocks the robe. So now, oh yeah. So you don't get rings, but you get boots. And you st starts with warrior's gear, which I guess is like, it's better than nothing, right? But the rogue, so what's different here? You can receive trophies after killing enemies in battle and exchange them for equipment in the camp. Has 5% vampirism from the start. 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. Oh, wow. So like stacking stuff becomes even better with the rogue. Specifically like vampirism. That's cool. Um, but here you don't get that damage boost, which, you know, does stack up. But um, that's really neat. It's really, really cool. Do we have any different cards from this? No. Okay, so I need to build the herbalist hut. Now, this is where... Okay, now that I'm... Now that I'm... I think we figured out the prerequisite thing. Um, I need to place the herbalist hut in a spot where I could also then build a farm. Uh... So, like, if I place this here, I think I could build a farm out to this side. I hope. Anyway. Can I build anything else? Not currently. Okay. So, the next big things we want to work on are uh, the probably the farm. Yeah, probably the farm. Uh, the smelter looks like it's going to take a very long time to get to. Uh, the cemetery is probably a lot closer than the smelter. And this is when you can get uh, resurrections of your hero. And then we have the supply depot. From now on, you'll begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Unlocks the ability to craft items if you have the necessary, necessary buildings. Unlocks the ruins card. Oh, sick. I wonder if I have enough to upgrade anything. No, I don't. So, I don't know. I still don't know what this orange thing means. I can't, I can't figure that out. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that icon is. I'm sure some of you know and you're like, bro, come on. But I don't, I don't see it. Okay, so, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Oh man, it's a tough call. And yeah, see, it's a different boss back here. That's, yeah, I should have figured that out before. I'm just wondering now if I should do this with the rogue. Um, at least try it. I think so. I think I will try it. I'm okay with this setup. It seems to be working pretty nicely. We're using all of the cards in different ways. Um, the treasury will probably be something we end up dropping off at some point. Just because uh, we'll have other more beneficial cards. But I think this is fine. Um, where are we at? So this video is probably going to be a bit weird. If I start this now, I can't save in the run. Which is really just a bummerville. You know, like it's a huge bummer. You know what we'll do? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna start this. See how if we can do a few loops and just escape uh safely. And if not, then that's fine. At least we'll kind of know what it's like. Um but like building at the base is a different version of gameplay as well. Oh yeah, see this is cool, but yeah, yeah, neat. So we start with warrior's gear. We don't have a shield slot anymore. Um, so something to think about. Number of trophies to exchange for camp, yeah. Vampirism, 10% chance for 140 damage. This is like a crit chance. I didn't notice that in the description. All right, let's see how this is. Do this for like, uh, let's just see. Let's see what happens. Uh, we can start our, our rock mountain. So yeah, and like for me, basically when I'm sitting down to, uh, ooh, spawn a chest right at the start right now. Let's go. When I sit down to record, I have to dedicate like, you know, 90 plus minutes, which is cool. I don't mind it. I love the game, so it's easy to do that. Um, but it's something I have to be prepared for because I can't just stop in the middle of a run. I'm difficult. Get a skeleton spawning here. I'm interested to see what these boots do. Like any boot slots that need filling. Uh, where are we? So three days. Eh, let's place it like right here. So maybe we can get a, a skeleton battle right away. And I'll place the other one too.
You can see those trophies. Like, it's just literally any enemy goes in there. It's also kind of a cool way to just track things. Oh, that's a nice way to kind of get a little boost of resources. Just place like one tile in front of you also. Uh, let's throw a treasury down. A rock mountain here. Um, I, I, hopefully we can do the chrono situation a little bit better. Let's go village. Let's do a village here. Whoa. What the hell just happened? We got so much stuff. That was crazy. Okay, so boots, evasion. Um... got critical damage oh yeah so we have a whole different set of like we have a whole different everything man evasion of six but critical damage yeah hello magic damage mm. i think i'll take the damage increase here damage to all no we'll pass on that Damage increase here. So critical damage becomes a thing. Look at this. 197% damage. 10% chance. Very, very cool. Very cool. These are the same boots. All right. This is awesome. This is so cool. <clears throat> I didn't expect it to work like that. Ah, uh, that was, uh, see, that was a dumb placement. What I should have done is placed it here so that I could put the blood grove here so that I could get all these things in the vines. Yeah, that was dumb. I'll save for this for another grove, maybe. Oh, look, we got a quest. We got a blob quest. So I think that maybe triggers each time we go through it. I need vampires for this. And the rogue looks cool, too. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna regret putting this down because I'm gonna get a grove, like, right away. But I want to see... I want to rot uh, a, one of those fiends to spawn, so... Pitiful remains. Ten remains from a whole orb of afterlife. Okay, so this is probably where they're type. So artificial life and liquid, right? Um, I think that's this. I don't know. Oh, wait, maybe it's from... Ten remains form a whole orb of afterlife. A flexible image of... Passive plasticity. Ten orb, ten drops form a whole orb of unity. <laughs> I don't know. Let's uh, put on a skeleton here. Battlefield there. Another thing I'll learn over time is like, should I be placing things like on the inside and the outside? do this and then I could do um, I could do this and I could eventually get four meadows here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what's, what is, oh, okay. So hold on a second. So with the rogue, am I only getting my upgrades after the entire loop? I think that's what's happening. That's weird. Evasion and evasion bonus uh, versus magic damage. I think I'll keep the magic damage because if we crit on that, I'm sure it's just insane. Attack speed. 
That's certainly a different way of playing. But I'm into it. So the remains overflow into here. That's fine. I think this might be the first time we saw Prime Matter. This is like the ghost of a ghost. Storm Temple. A place of worship for the ancient god of lightning. His name is long forgotten. Strikes two random targets in its range with lightning every five seconds. Lightning cannot be evaded. Effects of multiple temples can stack. Now is this... Can this hit me too? That's the question. Oh, and look at that, man. Oh, cool. That's really... That's a really smart idea. So you can place it in the same traditional spots, but it's not an AoE now. So pretty much you want to place it like on a corner. Like this. This covers the vast majority of the of the map. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, let's just see what happens. Sand dunes? Hot wind coming from the dunes makes everyone feel a terrible thirst. Lowers all creatures HP by 2%. Creatures HP. So we want to put this on things with big bad enemies, like things that would spawn in these groves, probably. Right? Oh, wait. Wait, what? It's interesting. Huh. Oh, wait. It's, this is just it. This is just that uh, it's impacting everywhere. I can just put this anywhere. I think. Look at our HP. 405 and 518. Oh, it drops ours too. Okay. Okay. Every five seconds. Okay, lightning cannot be evaded. I, I This might hit us too, man. I don't... <laughs> I'm winging it right now. I don't know what's happening. What is occurring? Do this and do meadows like that. I think that's my new way to place these. Just place them on a corner and surround them if I can. I don't know if there's any combos with this sand dune. It's certainly possible. Okay, so we did get something that dropped there. Magic damage for counter attack speed and defense. Mm, I'll leave it for now. Yeah, and I think now that we have Chrono Crystals dropping, it makes the treasury a little bit less interesting. Because I really want to plan these around the Chronos. But if I get in a situation like this, that can work out. So we'll see what happens here against this blob fight, maybe. Or here now with skellies. Yeah, I didn't see the lightning hit anything. Two random targets in its range with lightning every five seconds. That's so weird. That's so cool. <laughs> awesome. Mm. Yeah, this can work. Oh, he became, like, beheaded or something. Maybe these fights aren't lasting long enough for it to trigger. That's certainly possible. Okay, we're obviously doing okay here. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll wrap up the... We'll wrap up this episode here. 
we'll head back to the base and we'll start a fresh one in the next one and if we have a situation like this where things kind of uh go a little bit long or whatever um i'll do what i did here we jump into a run see what happens experiment with something real quick and then we can drop out 10 chance to keep the card every 10 percent of lost hp gives you a 0.5 percent chance to instantly deal one thousand percent damage is this stack like is this over the course of the run or i think this means like of your current health but still yeah it's not amazing but you'd, you'd go attack speed here right i should have put that there but it doesn't matter i can't fill this anyways yeah, so we're going to retreat, keep our resources. And we learned a couple of cool things. So that's great. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, we will take a break here. When we come back, we're going to go back into Chapter 2 with the Rogue and uh, experiment with um, with all the new stuff that we just saw. So that's super cool. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're enjoying. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye for now.